Oni-chan, Oni-chan, it's time to wake up! Good morning, Oni-chan! Wake the fuck! Yo, check this out! Oda-chan. Ooh! Still to this day, one of my favorite chicks to watch and also one of my favorite chicks to beat off to, even though she has literally no porn. Wait, she actually does now? You serious? Holy shit! This is just as good as when Belle Delphine started to doing porn! Hold on! What do you mean it's behind a paywall? And if you don't believe me, well... Oda-chan is one of the more iconic purple-haired chicks in the entire internet, next to Zonaton and Project Melody. And if you weren't on the internet by the time that that went down with everybody making art of those three, then you missed out on a glorious time. Glorious! No, I won't give in! One thing I will have to get to Otaku vs. Anno Chan just in general is that they have this 90s aesthetic with everything they do. And it's honestly really damn cool to see, honestly. It's nice when you bring something from the retro times to bring it into the modern times and make it cool and make it even better times. But I only have one thing to say. In 7 more years, it will be 30 years since the 90s happens. Let it go, people. Let go of the 90s and worship the early 2000s. I'm just being honest. I'm tired of the 2000s being hella disrespected. Without the early 2000s, you wouldn't even have Kingdom Hearts. You wouldn't have Soul Calibur 2. You wouldn't have so much shit. The only thing the 90s were good for that produced some heat was literally Tenchi Muyo and Killer Instinct, which is the only damn game I actually only care about and I mean the Super Nintendo version not the stupid ass arcade and the only reason why I'm mad at that is because I can't pull off a freaking ultra now we cannot necessarily deny Oda-chan is quite fine now that would be some cap if you said you didn't want to get into those panties like your Orochimaru which that seems like a bit of irony there but still nonetheless you cannot say that she isn't beautiful sexy and all that type of stuff although I still have one big question that has not been answered yet what happened to those titties from episode one onto every single other episode she went from big cup for the big lass to small cups with no ass that's what my question is what happened to that Oda Chan like did she ingest her implants did Cam stab her accidentally or did the koala just stole them like what happen or can she just manipulate the water that's inside her own tits to make them bigger or smaller depending on how she feel about it which honestly that actually sounds like a really cool power up despite other chain might be looking like a fake ass quaker oats ass mascot her head might look like a jagged ass super nintendo and her smile is so horrid and bad enough to make devils cry no may other chan is still a great character no cap and that's all fact and honestly in real talk i'm honestly really excited for the future of just not other chan but also otaku versus as well considering they are the people that did inspire me to create my own channel too but y'all know nothing about that same way with the old ass anime reviews of her show which i don't know nothing about that but still nonetheless I'm looking forward to it and hopefully other chance future will be bright and shiny as her tits all right i just gave y'all free advertisement where's my poster or my jacket either will be cool